Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And today for Tutorial Tuesday, I have for you a, a fairy silk bracelet. And I'm going to be using the gorgeous, gorgeous mix from Jesse James Beads called Chinese Takeout. And as you can see, it is a gorgeous array of turquoise and, and red and gold tones. And I... Uh, Picked up this fairy silk also off of Jesse James Beads. And we're going to be using this as our bracelet base. And the idea that I have for this, just so you, I can just draw you a quick sketch so you can see where we're going with this. Um, obviously, I want the silk to go wrap around the wrist uh, probably like three times. But I want to make a bracelet bar. Now, we've done necklace bars before where we take the wire and we put some beads and then um, we have loops on either end and then we do a little wrapping with the our little wire technique to make it fancy. So that's what we're going to do today. That's, <laughs> that's the roadmap. I know that looks a little weird, but just think of it as three strands. The bracelet bar is going to have all these beads. And then we're going to have like wire coming around. So when it wraps around your wrist. And then I thought on the ends we might do some tassels. So that's where we're going with that today. So the first thing we want to do is, uh, and I'm not, this This is the length that you get from, the, from Jesse James Beads. And uh, I'm pretty sure... It's pretty long. I did not measure it, but they all come in the same length. So if you do this project, you just know that you're going to use the entire length of your fairy silk. Now this is red, which obviously I wanted to pick up. Um, I do have black and another color uh, that they also had available, but I wanted to do the red because it's so vibrant with these colors. And then look at the turquoise with the red. I just love that color combination. So, the first thing I thought of, and I started playing around with it, is I was thinking of doing some type of three-dimensional piece um, for the center. So, I already got it started where I took one of these really pretty, kind of flat, curved, white-looking jade beads, and I've put a a bead cap and I'm just going to take the rest of these I hope that they'll fit um, now here's another one I did for the sides and I'm going to do another one um, and then there's a loop at the bottom see so that's going to slide onto our bar so this is, might be the centerpiece so right now I just have one piece here this is 26 gauge gold wire and I just took a little seed bead and kept it from going through further. And you know what? I need to grab some of those. So I will do that really quick. Uh, but we're going to add two more of these. And it's going to be kind of a three-dimensional flower petal type thing that's going to sit on the top of your wrist. I'll be right back. Alrighty. So I got some little seed beads. I'm using some silver because I like to mix metals and some of these metals are silver in the mix and I don't know if I'm going to use them or not but I want them handy. So we're just going to do a little bit of seed beads and by the way happy Valentine's Day to you lovely folks out there. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So I'm just taking any kind of length. I just want enough to be able to wrap later. You'll see what I mean. Uh, and so, let me cut a couple of these. I'm almost at the end of my spool. Whoops. Beads go a-flying. Thank you for all the wonderful feedback on the marathon jewelry. Uh, I'm having a few upload troubles that I think I have fixed. I had... A bunch of stuff that I was uploading into Etsy, I got 
a lot of it done, but not all of it. And I think I fixed it finally. So if you were looking to see if anything was on there um, that I showed last week, it's coming. And oh man, do I have stuff to show you this week. So this is going to be a very busy week too. So I definitely wanted to do our tutorial Tuesday. So I'm just taking this seed bead and I'm putting it on the 26 gauge wire like this. And then I just folding it up and you don't have to be exact. I mean, uh, most of this is going to get hidden, but, uh, you're going to take another bead cap. Let's see. Is this the one I used? Yes. So you're going to feed these two ends of your wire through the bead cap. And then I just kind of pinch it with my fingers so that it'll go all the way to the little seed bead. And the little seed bead's going to stop it from going anywhere. And then we're going to take and we're going to take the fatter end of the teardrop bead and feed that through there just like this. And now I'm going to slide this kind of next to the one I just did. And I did move that one to an angle so I could see one, so I could see, and two, they're not all going to be, they're not going to be sticking straight up. I'm going to hopefully have them at an angle. My concern is, is am I going to have enough room to do three of these? That is the concern. So I may have to revise what I'm doing if they don't fit. Because this whole for the little lotus flower, I don't think it's that big. I thought it was bigger. Oh, I think we got it. Oh, cool. Okay. That third one might be a bugaboo, but we'll see. So now we got two of these on here. And I am just going to keep them loose because, like I said, I don't want them standing straight up. Which one goes to which? Oh, there we go. Okay. So that's the top view. And that's the side view. And then we've got these wires coming out down here. And now we got to do our next one. Let's see if that works. This is going to be the center of our bar. Uh, it's going to be like the focal, basically. So this is going to take the longest. Once I get everything together, everything else will be strung onto the 18 gauge wire. That's what we're going to make the bar out of. And you'll see here in a second what I'm talking about. So this is my last one. I'm just going to pinch it. I'm going to grab another bead cap and slide that through. Just pinch it and then we'll come here and grab this guy I just thought that was kind of festive and cute and let's see if we can feed this in here this is gonna be tight but I think we can do it I don't think I could do one more so fortunately this is the last one Ah, nice. It work. It's working. Oh, I think. Missing a piece. Hang on. Hang on a minute. You can do it. I think this is where Brittany Chavers uses the term finagle. <laughs> We're going to have to finagle. My other thought is if I can't get both of these through here, I could probably wire wrap this last one. Let's try that. So yeah, depending on how big that opening is. So I managed to get 
that might not be a bad idea anyway because this wire that I left over now so I I managed to get five wires through here we've got this one hanging out from the one I just placed but that might be helpful in keeping these where I want them we're gonna see so I'm just hanging on to these bottom wires I've never done this before so this is just you know something I had in my head so maybe we can wire wrap around these a little bit. And actually, I like that idea. You could put something in between there. I mean, in, in the center there, we could do that. That might be kind of pretty. Let's grab one of these. Do we like this? Maybe we want to do, oh. how about a square bead? That might be kind of interesting. Mm. Nope. Oh, but a round bead. <laughs> it's all about experimentation. Let's see if I could get this to look decent. It may, it may not. I wish this were just a tad longer. This one wire. I think I need a smaller bead. If this were longer, and also you gotta be careful of the 26 gauge because see how kinked up that is? That might snap. So I better, I better be I'll just do a smaller bead. I think that's going to be better. So I don't want to tempt fate. I'm just going to wrap it around this one guy. We'll clean this up too. So now we can kind of move these around however we want them. I think I want them up a little. So we kind of have a 3D. And then below, we're gonna make a, we're gonna do a little wrap loop like I showed you on the other one. And I'm just gonna go around my round nose with all the wires. So now you got something like that. I know that looks a little messy, but it's going to be underneath the bracelet, or it's going to be attached to your, and now I'm just wrapping these. It's going to be attached to your bar, so no one's really going to see it. But you do want something to loop that through. So I'm going to cut that, and we'll be able to tuck these in too. So let's tuck these in. It's nice that this bead underneath is flat. Let me grab this guy. This this little Zeron is perfect for little stuff like this. So we're just tucking these ends in just so that nothing goes anywhere. But again, you're gonna have the bracelet bar and then the the silk so it should not poke anybody and then we can finesse this a little more and then I will trim this later but this is our little centerpiece right here for the bracelet and then this guy I'm going to make another one to go on the other side that's going to be the center and that's going to be one side so it's going to go something like this. Center. And then another blue one. And we'll see where we go from there. So. Again, we're going to take our 26 gauge wire. And we're going to do the same thing, only with less. I think I did 
So I made like a little three bead crown, as you can see. So I'm gonna be using three seed beads on this one. I thought that added a nice little detail and uh, kind of gave it a little floral feeling, which was what I was after on uh, this one. So let's see, so I used bigger, there was another size bead cap and I think, I think I see one here. Yeah, I used the bigger one. And then I used one of these really pretty aqua rondelles. And then we're gonna take three seed beads. Hope you can see that. Let me scooch in a little. Three seed beads. And just let them slide to your middle there. And then we'll pop these two wires through our aqua bead. And then this way, when you um, pull this, you can maneuver the beads so that they make like a little point. And then this, I didn't do the bead cap, I did the bead cap on the opposite way. So it would cup this bead. So I'm putting it like this instead of, well, I'll show you. So instead of this, which is what probably you would normally do, I'm doing it upside down like that. Because you're not going to see that, but it, I like the way it curves around the, it looks more flower-like and curved around the, um, the blue bead. See that? I think you get the gist. And then we're going to push these guys through here. And again, we're gonna make a loop. This will be the probably, hopefully, the trickiest part of this. Once you get these pieces made, then and I am making this loop close to the piece. Um, I think I went around twice too, just so that it's more. I don't know, sturdy. Again, don't worry about it being messy because you're not gonna see it. Just make sure that it's secure. And I'm just doing a wire wrap here. Just so you have a loop. It could be messy. Again, it, just so you have enough room, you know, to thread your, your 18 gauge through there because that's what our next, next step. So let's trim, trim those. Can't get my words out today. I hope y'all are having a great Valentine's Day, whatever it is you're doing. I thought about doing a Valentine's Day project. This has red in it. That's as far as I'm going. Because <laughs> I think there's a plethora of Valentine's projects out there today. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I thought I'd go in a little bit different, a little bit different direction. Okay, so I've got my main little pieces ready to go. Don't know that I'm going to need more of these seed beads, but I'm just going to move them out of the way because that's tempting fate also. <laughs> and, and now we're going to make the bar. So I'm making this for myself. So I am gonna measure my wrist. So depending on what you're gonna do, I am gonna use more, a little more wire than I think I need, just so I have room for error and to play with. So 
So 18 gauge was about six or seven inches. Let me get rid of that end. Okay, let the fun begin. So, I thought about doing a three strand, but I think we're gonna stick with the one strand and then do some wire work that way. So the first thing we're gonna do is do a wire wrapping on one end so our beads don't slide off. And I wanna make a pretty substantial loop. Um, so I can thread that silk through there. So I'm gonna do the very back end of my round nose pliers. Because this is gonna be the end we're gonna thread our silk through. So I'm just gonna do a wire wrap there. couple of times and we'll trim that and I'm going to trim it on the back where it's going to you're not going to feel it let me get rid of that little spot that's sticking up there there we go okay so now we have our the end of our bracelet and my wrist uh, let's see. So pretty much what I've made is going to take up a lot of that room. So I think I might do, let's see. A blue bead. And then maybe one of these that we just made. And we're just going to literally slide that on where we made the and don't worry it's going to fall because it's not against the fabric yet but once it's against the fabric and you have it wrapped around your wrist it's not going to go anywhere um and then maybe let's do a rondelle that'll help too and then we'll do our centerpiece. Maybe we want one more small bead. Probably should have taken these out of here, but this is how I like to organize them when I'm transporting them or just once I've got the box opened. This might be too long. Let me just, let me check myself here. Might have to take a bead off. Let's just see. I think I am going to stick with that. And what I'm going to do after I make the other loop is I'm going to bend this so it's more like a curve for your wrist. So let's do that. And I want my loops to be going in the same direction. And again, I want to use the back of my round nose. If this works, I have a bunch of um, silk coming from different sources. So I thought, you know, you could make a whole bunch of bracelets. Uh, but the silk, the fairy silk on the Jesse James Beads website is really high quality and super nice. And of course it matches 
beautifully with this mix. So if you're going to do this with this colorway, definitely I'll link everything um, in my description if you want to hop on their website and purchase any of it. And they do have what's called love points. Uh, for any of you that have not purchased from Jesse James Beads, you um, you earn points that accumulate and you can get nice discounts and money off uh, from anything that you order from them. So just keep that in mind as well. All right, let's see. Cut this guy. I like the three dimensionality of this. I think on the wrist, it'll look really cool. And also who, who doesn't love these colors? My goodness. Okay, so now it's time to, let's trim that little piece right here. You can certainly use more wire than I did. I will probably come back and reinforce that at some point uh, just to be sure it doesn't go anywhere. But and I know everything's moving, so, <laughs> but this is the idea, okay, and I am going to curve this a little, so now it's a little bit curved, and our silk's going to slide through here, but we're not done yet, we're not done yet. We're going to add a little bit more bling. Let me just move these guys. So, so this is the side view. So now I've got some, where is that? 20 gauge wire that we're going to do that pretty design. If you've ever seen any of the bars like um, Gem Hawks does, this is a, a take on, she does beautiful necklace bars with the wire weaving in and out. And I just love that look. And I think I did a couple of, I've done this a couple of times with different projects. So you just want to get a piece of wire that's probably, do I think that's long enough? That's the question. I think I want it longer. I'm going to get a big long piece. I would rather have too much than not enough. I don't want to smack the camera though, but I think I might, I might accidentally, hopefully not. All right, so we're gonna warm this a little with our fingers. And you can add beads to this or not. I am not gonna add beads to this. I feel like there's enough beads. Um, I am gonna put a few on the silk but I just want to do like a little bit of movement weaving in and out and it may help stabilize some of these. So I'm going to come in and wrap this around my existing. Oh yeah, that that's already already trying to hit things. You want to anchor it. I am all thumbs tonight. <laughs> you want to anchor it right on the end here. All right. And then let me get these oriented right. You're going to just warm this. Do I need to scoot out a little? I do. Let's warm this. And then you're going to kind of work with the wire a little bit. You're going to, let's see, let me wrap it around this blue guy. And then I'm going to hold on to him and very gently come back up here.
Now I'm coming underneath this other flower. I'm gonna warm this some more. Wrap. And I think I'm gonna come back around. Sorry, my hands are in the way, but I didn't really like the shape of that wire, so I'm gonna have to go back and probably warm it. Right now I'm working on this side. <laughs> he keeps grabbing things. Oh boy. All right. So now we have Let me see if I can wrap that good. All right. So, you've got some pretty wire showing. You could, like I said, add beads to it. And I think on this piece, I think I might do a little curly cue. So let me do that just to hide some of that wrap. Let me cut some of this. All right, let's make a little loop. I'm gonna do a little curly cue. I think that'll be pretty. I hope I don't have everybody totally confused. <laughs> it's it's an experiment, but I thought it would be fun. You could add leaves to this. You once you have the wire bar made, you can add all kinds of stuff to it. And if I'd done three three of them. And I may try that off camera, three bars, then, um, see there's a little curly Q. Then I might play more with uh, maybe adding more beads or you know, different widths and adding more things as you, cause the more uh, wire you have that you can anchor, the better. So I'm going to tuck this guy in and I'm going to cut him right there where nobody's going to feel him. I love, I love this idea too of making little curly cues to cover up areas. That's another gem hawks technique that I love. Do check her out. She has a YouTube channel. She also teaches a lot of stuff with Jesse James beads that's gorgeous. I always learn something new from her. So here is our, this is the 3D version. And uh, I like just the little bit of movement that the gold has. And it'll look pretty up against the three strands of the material that we have here. So let's string this. So I definitely want to string it. And then what we will do is, um, let's see how we want to do this. Might embellish the silk a little. through there. All right, so we're going to slide this. And then my thought was we'll center it on the silk like this. And then 
I thought we would take a couple of these really pretty uh, big hole beads and we'll put one on one side and do a knot. Might do two knots because this is pretty thin. We'll see. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, we'll put that on another one on. Just love this color combo. I think I need more of this color combo in my life. <laughs> oh, wow, so pretty. All right. And let's make our next loop. I'm just making basic knots here, nothing fancy. If you know macrame and you wanna do something fancier, by all means, knock yourself out. I think I do wanna make two, just to make sure that those beads don't go anywhere. If you know any Chinese knotting techniques, that would be very pretty with this. I don't know if you can do that with this silk. I know there's like a silky cord that you can use. So if you don't have the fairy silk and you're a macrame person, that might be the way to go also. I think the possibilities are, are pretty great. Okay, so here's our bar and here is our silk. And then I thought on the ends of the silk, it'd be pretty to put these tassels. And you could put beads with it. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that, but I am going to tie them on the end here as just an extra little element. You could add more beads if you want. I mean, the, it's up to you. Definitely, you know, this is just a basic idea that you could go and do many, many variations. So there's one pretty tassel, two pretty tassel. Definitely going to have to play with this idea some more. Okay. There's our pretty tassel. So here is what my thought was. So drum roll, please. So we're going to wrap the silk and wrap the silk like this. And then we're gonna tie it. And this silk is so soft, I love it. Check that out. Isn't that pretty? And again, you can make this as crazy or simple as you want. I do like the three dimensionality of this. I don't mind these moving, but you could tack them down more with some wire. Um, you don't have to do the three dimensional. I think it's pretty cool though. Kind of sculptural really. And of course the colors are beautiful. I don't know if I could scoot out more. I guess I was as far out as I can go. And we still have, pardon me, we still have all these beads to play with. Now this was a mix called um, Chinese Takeout. I also have some, some of this chain reaction 
You could do another bracelet and uh, layer it. And then we have this beautiful chevron chain, which you could do another bracelet. And look at the stack. Don't you love it? That's fun. Definitely, definitely going to play with this some more. Uh, I hope this gave you some ideas. Uh, it's not hard to do. I think the most complicated was just making these components, which you don't have to do that. You could just string some beautiful large beads or gemstones, you know, onto your wire. You could just do a very simple one. You don't have to do all the swirls and everything. Um, you could do leather, uh, suede, fairy silk, you know, chain. You could probably do chain, too. Um, possibly even memory wire. So I like how that turned out. I hope you do, too. Thanks for joining me this evening, and I hope you're having a wonderful Valentine's, like I said. Uh, stay tuned for some more fun stuff this week. I got so many things in, I don't even know where to start. Um, so uh, after that marathon, I needed a few days off, but uh, I'm back in the saddle making videos for you. And I got some cool stuff to show you. A new box that I ordered I'm getting in um, that I thought everybody would like to see and some other projects I'm working on. And, uh, of course, Bargain Bead Box and our Color Theory. I don't want to forget that. That That's also in the, in the works. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining me tonight or this morning or whenever it is you're catching this. Take care of your sweet selves. Thank you so much for all the wonderful comments. And those of you that are not joined in the Facebook group, we would love to have you. That's under Marcy Creates, where we can see everything that you're making. If you decide to make something like this, we would love to see it. It's a very nice group of folks over there. So take care of yourselves and your families. Be safe. And I will see you on the next video.